the rivalry that time was savage. But I remember one famous Sunday, uh, you like I know you well, you passed up on the line. You know, we, that time we kind of we went up and down, and the, the thing was going hot and heavy. And you just grab him by the hand. You said, have, "Maybe have one for your Saturday." I said, "I'll see you. You're gonna give him a shot." That meant the horse. I think he won. I think it was in Nepal stuff. Here's Cyril Farrell, and the pressure must be on Cyril Farrell somewhat. Perhaps Keating checks on the watch. Four and a half minutes to go. Having been in the doldrums, and, and as Richie Statham said, like in Killarney, when we beat Cork after 16 years. The famine is over! There was no way that anybody could imagine a county like Tip down for 16 years. I came back in at the end of 84, 85, and I had kind of rebuild the team because the team of the 80s that had won were gone past the really. Yeah. We held on to a few, got a lot of new players in, got beaten in the 85 and 86 All Ireland finals, and by the time we played G in the 87 semi final, the team was well established and settled. Can he seal it here? To no lane. Lost his cup to the score. That truly is that now. For us, by beating Tip in that semi final, it kind of, we still rated Tip and the Kilkenny's as kind of the creme de creme of Ireland. Right now, however, we're having a bit of difficulty coping with some of the Galway supporters. When 88 came along, the big push there was to win, and we were very settled. When, when Yee came through, we were saying, oh, good God, here comes Tip. There would be a fear factor playing Tip. We knew another very well at the time. All the games had been kind of free-flown and close. And the manager is on the field, something which he's really not supposed to do. There's no argument, like, Yee had the best half-back line in the business between Finnerty, Keady and Jerry McInerney. McInerney. Oh, yeah. Well, Jerry McInerney, was it worth coming back from America for this? Oh, of course, needless to say. <laughs> Suspension. Everyone was saying after Zofi had him, you would have won, but that's that's too simple a thing, yeah. that doesn't go that way, because Tip was still coming. Believing that this is the moment when Tip will finally triumph over their great adversaries in front of huge Tipperary support. It was hard hurling that time, but that time, Babs, you wouldn't get away with it now to be red cars all over the place, like, you know. The Hopper McGrath's uh, tackle. Tackle. Couldn't quite hold on to it, and it's Conor O'Donovan. This was a late challenge, definitely dangerous, and deserved dismissal. We're all on the clock then to 91, so, like, I still harp on the full forward line. Fox, Cormac Bonner. And it's a goal! A goal by Cormac Bonner. Nicky. And, and they were lethal. Serious forward line. They were a serious forward line. But that says, Babs, our team, we were kind of, we were coming to the end of our tether, kind of breaking up. A lot of the lads are kind of going over, you know, kind of coming to the end of, you know, the, the team was kind of over the top at, this, at that stage. And that's going to happen to any team. Like, you were coming right good and we were out the other end. Babs is pleased. Pleased to get through, I'm sure. Tip by far the Masters. A win by 10 points. 3.13 to Galway's 1-9. The hurler on the ditch is always right. They can always make make every decision, but they don't have to stand over them. So we had to stand over the decisions we made. To me, that time, Babs, looking back, so it were great memories. Like, so we, had, we had great times. We won, we lost, we partied, we soldiered together. The memories are fantastic. They last till, till our graves, really.